Hi, my name is Leanne and this is the Everyday Princess. Welcome. Isn't it amazing that being the daughters of the King of Kings transforms our everyday lives and can even turn a mistake into an unexpected adventure? Yes, this happened to me. You see, a few weeks ago, my friend Sue and I flew from Vienna to Cyprus to visit friends. I knew we were heading for sun, beach, and a wonderful time with our friends. What I didn't know was that the airport we landed at, Larnaca, was an hour and a half drive to Carol's house. Oh, I felt terrible. <sighs> I apologized to Carol and she was very gracious. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, at the very, at the very we have an hour and a half to visit in the car till we get to her house. What I didn't know was that this was no typical everyday route that we were taking because it was the path that Paul Barnabas and John Mark took on the first missionary's journey. When I go on vacation, I like to buy things that are practical and also remind me of something precious from my trip. So that's why I bought this handy dandy card holder. And it's a map of the island. And this point of the island points, if you kept going in this direction, it would point right to Antioch, where Paul and Barnabas started out. And they went to Seleucia, they crossed the water, they came to Salamis, and then went along the coast. Well, I know they crossed the island. We went along the coast to Paphos. And that's where we spent the long weekend. Isn't this amazing? It's like walking through the Bible. <sighs> so Paul started in Salamis. I know this is the only picture I could get of Salamis, a bus that was headed that way. And just south of Salamis is Larnaca Airport, which is where we started our journey. And then we crossed over, and here's a little glimpse of the highway that we took. Can't you see how hilly and, and rocky and a little bit scruffy, you know, a little wilderness type, a lot of stones and boulders. Then we ended up in Paphos. Isn't that amazing to think? Paul was here and shared God's wonderful message of salvation. Let's read about it. It's so fun to see the cities named that I visited. In Acts 13, starting at verse 4, the two of them sent on their way by the Holy Spirit, that's Paul and Barnabas, along with John Mark, went down to Seleucia and sailed from there to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. John was with them as their helper. Isn't this amazing? The names of the cities are right there. And it was such a privilege for me to see this place, to see where Paul and Barnabas and John Mark shared the gospel. The next morning, we drove into Paphos met up with our friend Don for coffee at a place that overlooked the harbor and we got a glimpse of the city and walked around as well. It was just so amazing to think that 2,000 years ago the gospel was being shared here on this island and in this city. I would encourage you to read on in Acts chapter 13 starting at verse 6 to find out what happens in this tale because the governor wanted to know about Jesus, and somebody tried to stop him. Find out what happens. Go ahead and read it for yourself. We headed for a walk after our coffee to St. Paul's Church, and in front you can see there's a pillar that's called Paul's Pillar. Legend has it, I don't read it in the Bible, but legend has it that Paul was whipped here. We don't know if it was in this place, but we do know that Paul suffered for the gospel because he loved Jesus and he wanted to share the truth. 
that Jesus came to die for us so that we could have a relationship with God. Somewhere along this coast, when Paul and Barnabas had completed their work there, they sailed away to present-day Turkey. In that time, it was Asia Minor, to continue sharing the good news. Landing at Larnaca Airport seemed to be a mistake at the time, but it turned out to be the highlight and a wonderful adventure experiencing that part of Paul's missionary journey. I have a question for you. When has God taken a mistake in your life and turned it into an unexpected adventure? I encourage you to take a little time and just reflect on this and ask the Lord to show you, just to encourage you about what God can do to show his glory in your life and show it to you that you can see how wonderful he is, how good he is, how loving he is. That is all for today. The Lord bless you. Bye.